American Maid is directed by Doug Liman and stars Tom Cruise and it's the true story of Barry Seal who started out life as a pilot but then he was recruited by the CIA to do reconnaissance flights over enemy territory during the Cold War and then he is recruited by Pablo Escobar to smuggle cocaine out of Colombia into America and he just gets tangled up in all this. He starts getting loads of money and this is his story. This is another true story film that I'm glad exists because before this film I had never heard of Barry Seal, I had never heard of his story and now I'm glad it does exist because I can think about this story and I'm just like wow. This guy's story is just fascinating as hell because he's transporting all these different goods and he's working for both sides. He's working for his country and he's also working against his country at the same time. And it's the intrigue of the story that completely drove this film for me. I was constantly interested in Barry Seal and his story and I was just always just like Jesus, this guy. Tom Cruise was great in this film. He's not really given a great performance in a while. He's kind of formed it in his last couple of films, but here he's charismatic, he's energetic, he's likeable. I really liked the approach that they took with this story because it's very loose, it's very off kilter, it's not overly serious. You know like the music choices, there's a lot of upbeat 80s music in there and Tom Cruise's narration throughout the film sometimes he just straight up addresses the craziness of the story and it led to some funny moments. I would not call this film a comedy whatsoever. The tone is a lot lighter but it's definitely not a comedy. I really don't think this story would have suited an overly serious tone so I'm really glad that they went with the tone that they went with. As interesting as the film is however it didn't really invest in me emotionally. Even though I like the lighter tone that it went with I would have liked it if it went a little bit more below the surface and showed us some more conflict with what Tom Cruise is doing and how that reflects upon his family and how it affects their living situations even though halfway through the film they literally got they're overloaded with cash. But earlier on in the film they have to move away because of Tom Cruise's job and it's messing things up with his family life and there's a tiny bit of conflict but I would have liked a bit more conflict and a bit more emotional involvement. And there's nothing really spectacular about the filmmaking in American Made but apart from the 80s like filters they put on it. There's some pretty cool effects they put in there because it's set in the 80s and they have like some cool scratches sometimes like some of the archive footage and the 80s music and the opening studio logos are very 80s and the end credits are very 80s as well. But apart from that the direction's standard, the camera work is fine but I don't need the filmmaking to be perfect for me to like a film but it's, it was worth mentioning I suppose. Overall I quite enjoyed American Mage. The sheer fascination and intrigue of this guy and his story was what completely drove the film for me. It's one of those things where you can't believe this actually happened but it's not like in a Detroit kind of way where you're like oh my god I can't believe this actually happened it's more of like I can't believe this actually happened. Tom Cruise was great in the film I really liked the approach to them telling this story in a more off kilter kind of way it made it a lot more accessible but the fact that the film didn't really invest me emotionally did bring it down a bit but I'm still gonna give American Made a three and a half out of five I thought it was pretty good. It's kind of weird actually because this film doesn't come out for quite a few more weeks in America yet and the UK just very rarely gets really early releases so I can't really say what do you think of American Made if you're living in the UK and you've seen it obviously let me know what you think about it but for you American folk what's that one film that tells a true story that you never heard about before the film and you're just like wow I just can't believe that happened so whatever your thoughts are on all of those questions let me know in the comments below and if you want to see more of my stuff be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video